In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, first load a uh, sort of fluorescence multiplexed image uh, we're going to use in this study, and then how you can adjust the intensity uh, for the different channels. So I'm going to uh, reduce this and then open a folder where I have the images. And so this is um, polyfluo. So I'm just dragging it into QPath, and then in set image type, I'm going to choose fluorescence. All right. So when I open this image, um, first thing you're going to see is that uh, it's been saved again afterwards without the metadata. So not a good thing. Uh, you should definitely not do it that way. But here I did it that way to show you uh, one nice functionality of QPath, which is when you want to uh, rename all the channels, you can do it. Um, quite automatically, which is pretty neat. So if I go to image, you see I don't know the pixel widths again, uh, just because I don't have the uh, metadata. So uh, if I if I go here in the channel, I have only channel one, channel two, and so on, and I don't have uh, the different markers. So if I if I want, I can double click on channel one and then change the name, but I can go a little bit faster, actually. I can just uh, copy and paste the actual names. So I'm going to open, so you can do it with anything. It could be Notepad, could be anything. I'm going to open Excel, but that could be anything, actually. And I'm just going to uh, uh, copy uh, the names of the different markers. I know that channel one is Dappy. Channel 2 is Tibet, channel 3 is CD8, channel 4 is ROR Gamma T, channel 5 is CD4, channel 6 is Fox B3, Oops. and channel 7 is Cytokeratin. Yeah. Yes. And if I just uh, select all of them and do uh, control C copy or I can do it with uh, a right click copy. Now if I select all the channels with uh, control A or you know, anything in any way to select all of them. Now if I do uh, paste with control V, um, QPath is asking me if I want uh, this changes which is so channel 1 becomes DAPI, channel 2 becomes TBET and so on. And that's what I want to do. And this functionality can um, be used for other kind of things. So that's really nice uh, feature of, of QPath. So I'm going to apply it. And now I'm going to have the right uh, names for my markers. And so when you work with fluorescence, it's always nice to start with uh, some um, um, visualization. Um, so by, you know, changing the min and max that are displays to have a visualization you're comfortable with. Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at them. And you can look at all your channel individually in grayscale, which might be uh, easier to do this. If I um, click on grayscale, oops. Uh, actually, I don't know how I could do that. That's interesting. Yes, so this is, uh, this is that, all right. Um, so this is selected, so I can, so that's, I think it's pretty okay. Just uh, maybe it's a bit faint here, so I can use that. So what, what does that mean? It means that all the pixels that have an intensity superior to 200.3 uh, are white. And so here it's not, you know, so it's, we can see here the, the, the black effect. It's because it's been um, acquired uh, 
with mosaics and so this one even though the parameters were the same uh, this looks uh, brighter so maybe it's a bit too bright now and that's okay so now i'm going to go to tdet and we don't see much here uh, so but it's it's uh, it looks fine we can maybe reduce a little bit to have it a little bit brighter we see this kind of um, I, so you know that's really then need to make sure that uh, you have things that are specific. This doesn't look so maybe I can just increase a little bit. Again, what does that mean? It means that everything that has, uh, every pixel that has an intensity inferior to 20 is now black. Maybe it's a bit too much. All right. Maybe a bit brighter. Um, so I'm gonna keep going. So here it's, uh, it's fine, it's really, and you know, it's been a nice uh, marker for this uh, batch. Uh, CD8 is nice. Maybe I can just increase a little bit the minimum because I know that this is not specific, but overall, it looks really okay. I, I'm, I'm fine with this. So I, I wanted to show you especially for this one. So we know that, so I didn't tell you, but uh, TVET, Aura, Gamma T, Fox P3, or uh, Nuclear, DAPI also, of course. CD8 and CD4 are uh, membraneer, and cytokeratin is cytoplasmic. And here, we know that Aura, Gamma T is nuclear, and still we have a lot of background, and we have you know, just background, but also uh, clearly something that looks like um, membraneer. And if I switch between this channel and the next one doesn't change anything but if I switch between this channel and this one now it's pretty clear that everything that is in CD8 seems to be also in our organic so there's some bleed through this happens sometimes and so um, probably you know the only things that are real staining here are the, the ones that are really bright and you can also see that the histogram doesn't look normal uh, we should have one peak but definitely not one peak and then something that is fat like this so i'm going to drastically increase the minimum that is displayed because i think that all of this is non-specific and to be honest i think this is real so here it's still some background but if i increase too much I'm not sure i'm going to um, no, Maybe I'm going to remove things that are real. Uh, here I can still, I think I can still increase it because this is clearly membraneer, and I know uh, that it has to be nuclear. So that's going to help us when we try to identify the markers, even though yeah, it's pretty non-specific. So the risk if you really increase too much is that you're going to remove everything, but maybe you're going to also miss a few things. I think it's better that way. And CD4, CD4 has some background, so a little bit. I think it's fine that way. Fox P3 is really clean, so I guess I can keep it as is. Cytokeratin, so as I said, is cytoplasmic. Is uh, so we have you know, foldings over here. We have uh, changes of uh, it's not uniformly stained, but it's it's quite okay. Uh, so if I look at everything together now, does it look fine? You know, maybe I did it a little bit too fast, but that looks pretty okay. I have some background here, clearly, and uh, I don't know where it comes from. A little bit from the DAPI, so I can maybe just do something like this a little bit. Have to be careful not to remove everything because uh, you don't have a um, signal you want to, to look at. Tibet, no. CD8, no. So I still have, I'm looking at the background to see if I remove it. 
here no, that would have been weird because I already cut off quite some power cavity. CB4, no. Fox B3, yes. Set some Fox B3 background so I can maybe increase a little bit. Yeah, it looks better. All right. Definitely looks better now. All right. So I'm good with it. Now we can uh, we can start to uh, segment uh, the sodium and stroma.